is good, yo. So let's talk about the Doom Flags and just how weird of some references were this week. Um, not only in the case of her having this dream towards the end of the episode and having kind of a weird uh, remembrance of just who was tough for her to achieve and who was easier for her to quote unquote conquer which sounded kind of weird coming out of her like oh I conquered this guy like it doesn't seem like anything she would be saying now as who she is in this world and I think that's due to the world around her right like not only are things popping off in such a regard where if she does act that way it could be seen on you know princess like or whatever they want to take it as and then that just ends up taking everything out and I apologize that there's been noise in the background my PlayStation 4 is on its final lives and clearly I'm going to have to uh, just invest in that PlayStation 5 you know um, but overall, I think there's certain aspects of this show that make me wonder how far of a narrative they're going to push the the actual Doom Flags, and are the, is it going to be like a big, like obvious thing that's going to happen, or is it going to slowly and surely keep building up over all this time, because not only did the prince with the devilish charm start to kind of give different signs than he's ever given like not different signs but more or less uh, a better straight approach right like there's no denying what she just had happen to her with the guy who's really quiet and every girl thinks he's gorgeous <laughs> just by them walking in town you can tell that him as a kid and him now that situation has never changed just on how people perceive him and how people treat him once he starts wandering about but overall I do think it was cool to understand a little bit of what uh, a little bit of what the doom flag still could be possible in here because not only do they kind of reinsure and confirm that this is this might be happening a little bit different because it's weird to me that when she says oh yeah I conquered these certain prints it's like the cocky one and I couldn't pronounce the F word that they chose to say but it just it almost sounded like it would probably be the two that are the most obvious to her that are you know under her grasp but then it then says oh but I haven't I can't conquer the black you know the dark prince the evil prince which is her uh, the one she's engaged with so it wouldn't make sense that or I guess you know like why would she think she hasn't gotten him if they're already going to get married but it does make sense if you look at it in the grand scheme of that's how her doom flag gets triggered is when she gets married or when she's in a close relationship with this guy he then wants someone else uh, uh, the blonde and by going in that direction it always ended up bad for her if she attacked that girl or if she just let it be it always wound up with her not in a good position so it does still make sense that she would believe she hasn't conquered him because guess what the situation that could arise still hasn't been uh, taken care of and then on the other hand does she think any of the situations are taken care of like what is a tall tale sign that she knows she's safe uh, from getting doom flags but it, it's it then gets contradicted or not even contradicted it's just like the show is telling an unfaithful narrative so we don't really like the main character thinks she knows she know uh, knows what she's doing 
And at the end of the day, even her mental mind is like, oh, so we should probably do this and that so we don't end up getting doom flags. And they're like, nah, we'll just, we're just going to chill out and not, not try to do anything like that it's summer <laughs> you know? um, and it makes a lot of sense with them being like that that she winds up not finishing anything that she needed to finish for classes so I really do think the the show is showcasing a lot of funny aspects of just where everything's going to lead at the end because not only is it obvious for us, the viewers, who, um, who's pretty much trying to be closer and closer to her, I think Keith is the most, like, he's the most obvious, and then the second person who's kind of obvious, but does, I don't even think they know it, is the guy who plays piano this week, and then we go to, uh, we go to what's his face now actually um, the guy who winds up showing us who you know his side of him to the girl that we never expected it from and one moment please I need to just grab my food real quick With all that being said, I will talk to you guys in the next one. I'm definitely looking forward to what she's going to wind up pulling off. Not only did we see a ridiculous amount of uh, focus and determination by certain people trying to get in her life. Like, for instance, we had the instance of uh, the prince pretty much making his move, just trying to have a date night while Keith makes sure he made all of the moves to make sure she doesn't wind up with him alone. So it's always going to be that dynamic, in my opinion, to some degree, and I love it. But at the same time, we're just going to have to wait and see who actually gets the closest to her. Because at this point, there is a weird chemistry between everybody, and I mean even the guy playing piano and his girl that he's supposed to be engaged with, they have a weird <laughs> relationship and I think some people are going to be able to look kind of far into what they think is happening compared to what they're actually going to show us maybe at the end of the day but right now it feels like not only does both of them like the same person but one of them expresses it openly while the other one is trying to hide the fact and stuff like that so it's getting really interesting in the grand scheme of the story and where it's going to go narratively so I definitely want to hear what you guys are thinking of this show including at the end of it all if that's when you guys you know get into it whatever the case or you know you I finish it before you finish it and then blah 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 you know what I mean <laughs> but with all that my anime people I will talk to you in the next one peace